guys, welcome to this week's episode of Kira's DIY, where we're at Chasper Winery, we're in our pool shirt. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you how I did a last minute DIY group costume for my friends and I. My shirt was the queen of spades, so I decided to start with the Q in the corner shoulder of the shirt. I made that about 3 inches wide and about 3.2 inches high. I also uploaded a SVG. I'll put the link in the description box of where I got the SVG from. And I just decided to one take out the little squiggly lines of the SVG because I didn't want those to actually make cuts in the vinyl and I also took out all of the extra suits that I didn't need and just focused on the spade so this part was really easy and it only took a few steps you'll want to ungroup all of the other suits so that you can take out the spade and you can hide the rest of the other suits until you need them so that's what i did here i just clicked the eye to hide the other ones so that they did not print when i was ready to print and i basically just lined up the spade underneath the queen but first i wanted to make sure that the size was the same so that it would be measured the same on the shirt and then once i had the measurement correct i just wanted to move the spade and duplicate it so that I can make the spade that's going to go in the middle of the shirt a bigger size so that you can definitely see it on the shirt. So after you have it lined up on the mat in the Cricut design space how you want it, you'll just want to make sure all the measurements are correct to the size shirt that you are wearing you'll want to highlight what you have and you'll want to make sure that they are grouped and attached so you want to click attach it down at the bottom that way they will print out all together while you have it on the mat click make it and then you want to make sure you click mirror that is super important when you're doing iron on vinyl so don't forget to click mirror now this one will print out on a 12 by 24 mat but you can also just take out the bigger one um, the bigger spade at the bottom if you have a 12 by 12 mat once you have that you'll want to click and make sure your device is connected once your machine is connected and loaded you will want to make sure that you set your material to everyday iron-on and you will want to load the mat make sure that you have the correct blade in and you are set to go make sure you then press the cricket button I use fast mode and I was okay with the cut so you're okay to use fast mode on this one you're here with us today at chat for its winery and I'm here with my queen of heart shirt made by Kira DIY, <laughs> made by Kira DIY. <laughs> so I used the easy press to iron some of the wrinkles out before I got started for this one because the vinyl was black I was able to get the extra vinyl off without using the weeding tool once you have the excess vinyl off you want to cut the pieces apart and you want to line them up on the shoulder of the shirt so this part wasn't hard I just lined it up how I wanted it to line up and then I set the easy press to 330 degrees Fahrenheit and I set the timer to 45 seconds I did that a few times until I felt comfortable with ensure that the vinyl was stuck to the shirt then I moved on to the bigger spade which I also made sure I lined up perfectly in the middle of the shirt again I did 330 degrees Fahrenheit in 45 seconds however this is a little bit bigger than the easy press so I did this in sections and I did 45 seconds um, on each section of the shirt so I did that about four to five times and it stuck perfectly. The Chatsford Winery in Chatsford, Pennsylvania had an adult trick-or-treat where they would give you a wine tasting along with certain treats and food and if you came dressed up in costume they gave you 20% off your purchase of the wines at the end of the day so of course we had to dress up and of course we had to 
go to enjoy the wine. They have a very nice prestigious winery. As you can see, my friends and I had an awesome time and we enjoyed the wine so much. And we kept getting asked where the fourth queen of our costume was. So we ended up being three of a kind by the end of the day. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Come back next week for my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.